So you're getting your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and you're wondering which case to get with it and you're shopping on the Samsung products. These are some of the Samsung cases. Now let me unbox them for you. Let's put it on our S24 and let's compare it to some of the third party cases that you can get. You can see these are ESR cases and they have cutouts. So we wanna see how protective how good and are these a good value? Because remembering from our S23 Ultra test, the S View wallet case, all of the Samsung cases generally were not up to par compared to the less expensive third party cases. So we're gonna see, did Samsung finally make an improvement? So this is our Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're gonna be unboxing it and we're gonna show you everything you get. So let's take it out. We have it in that green color and it looks really nice actually. So we're gonna take it out. And you can see how the camera bump is protruding. See the sides. Sticker. So let's compare it to our Pixel. So this is our Pixel 8 Pro. And here is going to be our iPhone 15 Pro Max. As you can see, I'm a big fan of this blue colorway but you can see the design schemes. So your S24 Ultra is just a little bit taller than your iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's just about the same height as your Pixel, except because it have that boxier design, it looks like a slab, right? This looks like a slab. So before we show you what Samsung did, let me just walk you through. Apple's iPhone cases are terrible. So OEM Apple iPhone cases are really bad. What were they? They were the fine woven case and the clear case. One of the worst, if not the worst cases to come out with your phone this year. And you have the Pixel cases. Now the Pixel cases from the Google Pixel store for the 8 Pro are much better than on the 7 and 6 Pro. So we like that because they went more with the one piece design and Google actually paid the manufacturers to make cases specifically for the 8 Pro that are gonna be more rounded, gonna fit better and have more features. But Samsung S24 is still a widely popular phone across the entire world. So even though you might not see a lot of cases for it in the States, not as much as you might see with the iPhone, you know that there's a lot of cases for this because countries like Korea and in Asia, these are some of the most popular phones you can get anywhere, period. And before we begin, let me just share with you our standard bearers right here. These are gonna be from ESR. We have their flick stand case with the armor and we have a clear case with a camera cutout. This is just a regular hybrid case. And both of these cases are some of our favorite cases. They're inexpensive. They cost about like, I think this guy is like 20. Here it's gonna be about 30. So the question is, should you be buying these cases from Samsung when they're so expensive, especially if you get it from their website? I think you should just be getting a third party case and you're not gonna even notice a difference. You probably notice that you saved yourself some money and you got a much better case for it. So first up, let us open the S View wallet case. And this S View wallet case is gonna be the most popular and standard case for your Galaxy S24 Ultra. And that's because a lot of people like that it has a front cover. So people can protect their screen while also covering their screen. In previous generations of the S View wallet case, we found that the cover itself was a little bit floppy and it was not always consistent in terms of, can it turn off your phone? Is it gonna be secure? How well is it constructed? So we're gonna see, is the S View wallet case better this year? So this is what the S View wallet case looks when you first get it. You'll notice that they have a micro suede on the inside. There is a camera bump. The material that they made the case for has been updated, so it's gonna be definitely grippier. It's also slightly soft touch, and it gives you a leatherette kind of feel. This is not gonna be similar to the fine woven case that you saw from Apple, where the fine woven case is definitely more nylon-y, like a Prada bag. This is that more gonna be kind of like a vegan leather case. You can see the cutouts. The biggest thing about the S View case is just how easy and floppy the cover is. So look at how floppy this is. How does this stay closed? It's just floppy. Your Samsung phone will respond well to the S View because it's built for the S View. So you have the little box here that's gonna give your time and relevant information. The buttons 
are relatively clicky. I would give the clickiness of the buttons a solid 7 out of 10. It's not going to be a 10 out of 10. You can barely hear them when you press them. And because they're slabs as well, you will have to figure out what's up and down on the volume. And that makes confusing, especially if you have this case upside down, like which one's what, which one's what. You'll notice that the camera cutouts on your S-View are well done and they will be protective. However, just remember that it's completely flat. There's no raised, real raised lip here. So if I place this down on something, I better be sure there's nothing scratchy on the table. The biggest issue is, let's say I have this in my pocket and it's already pretty big in my pocket. I pull it out. I will be pulling always this part out so it's not clipped in. It's not clipped on. There used to be a version that was clipped. This version is not clipped, and these, it just flops out. Watch, if I just take it out of my pocket, take it out, open, but not very secure. And to me, that is probably the biggest drawback of the SVU wallet case. I, I'm assuming they didn't want to use a clip or any magnets or buttons because they didn't want to add any bulk and they thought it would be a poor design choice. However, I wish they did because without it, it's just floppy. This is just a floppy top. And I think that's how we should look at the SV wallet case. It looks okay if you have it secure in your hand, but every other time it's just like a floppy case. So we're going to weigh our SVU case. It weighs 71 grams, so definitely not the lightest of the bunch either. Next up, Samsung has created these impression cases. And these impression cases are just standard cases with their updated designs. So let's take it out and let's see what we get. So first thing, I think the print quality is quite nice. You can see the print quality. They really went out of their way to make sure the contrast is high. The print is good. You'll notice that the lines where the pattern is, is not reinforced. So over time, you can start peeling it right on the corner. So this will actually start to chip because if you look on the corner right there, it's not a perfect edge. It's not blended. There's nothing on top of the pattern. The pattern is more like a sticker on the case as you see on the design. So there's a polycarbonate back. They printed this on top of that polycarbonate but again, remember, because of this line here, over time, this is going to start chipping and fading. So that's a drawback on this case here. Another thing is that this is still pretty much a basic case. It has inner air cushions, so inside air cushions, poly, just a camera cutout that's flat here. I do like how they have this TPU material on the sides. So you'll notice on the impression cases, Samsung is trying to coordinate a design language. So you'll notice with the impression cases, Samsung picked designs to print on them so that they're not gonna just be basic cases. Because if you take the design out, this is just a very basic case with cushioning on the inner rail and the corners. The material itself is pretty grippy, so I'm gonna say that the grip is good. I put my phone inside, if it's right in, the sides, the TPU, I will say the sides, not that grippy. The sides kind of slip out of your hand. So definitely not that grippy on the sides. It's actually the printed part that's gonna be more grippy. So printed part, very grippy. It's kind of sticky because of the material they use for the print. Corners. Corners are very nice. In terms of the camera bump protection, you can see that the camera bump is protected. However, it's not raised. There's no raise there. So you can still get your lens scratched up if you have something on the table. And you can see how the screen protection is. It's just basically almost one millimeter, one and a half millimeters across. And then on the corners, there's just a slight amount of reinforcement. So overall, this Weller impression case, I think when you first get it, it looks nice, but maybe over six weeks, two months, you'll notice that the pattern is gonna fade. If I wanna weigh my phone, let's weigh it. 46 grams, so not the lightest case either. A standard clear case here, like this clear case with Maxi from ESR, 38 grams. So this is our flip suit case. Let's take it out, because this is a little bit of a different case than what we saw on the 
S view and the impression case. Let's take it out. So you can either have it with these smiley faces or you could just have it with a standard So the new features with phone case is that your phone is going to sense the phone case and adjust its wallpaper and settings accordingly. So what that means is that you guys see this, this is the Samsung flip suit case. This is my current home menu on my S24 Ultra. So I'm going to place in my phone and then it's going to sense the flip case and then it's going to switch the cover directly to match the back. So the carpet is going to match the drapes here. The carpet is going to match the drapes. In my opinion, the flip suitcase is definitely not going to be the most protective. It has a raised bump on the top and the bottom, but not so much on the sides. Size is actually not going to do a good job with screen protection. You can actually touch the sides. So just to be sure, you have raised lists on the top and bottom, but if I have something and I place it right on the middle, not on the top and bottom, that means your screen is touching this. Your screen is resting on that, not the case. I like what it looks like, and I think as a overall case, this looks good. It's just not that protective. These cameras are also not going to be protective. They're actually sticking out. So this is really for decoration to have a light case, but for protection, we would say that not very good. If you see the cases from Samsung side by side, you'll notice that they're not very protective. In my opinion, they're actually quite lazy and they're going for more design. I think Samsung can come out with something better than this. I think Samsung has a lot of innovation for their cases that they're not sharing with us. And I know they have the versions that have the little fingerprint scooper held holder. Uh, I know they have versions that are more expensive, but if you're not trying to spend more than $50, $60 on a case, you're really limited to these options. And these options are not cutting it, especially considering that you can get cases from other companies that are just more protective, that have stands, that have MagSafe, better camera cutouts, and better for anti-yellowing. And they have cases with more innovation because like Taurus, Aturkin, many companies are coming now with kickstands, they're coming with different material, they're coming with better military grade drop protection because these, they're not really meant to be dropped, especially your flip suit case that I have here. And here, the S view is protective but guess what? You're gonna be able to move this screen around like nobody's business. And their yellow impression case, I like what it looks like, and I'm sure that some of these cases are gonna be well constructed. It just reminds me of a case defy case, but a cheaper version where the printout is gonna start chipping probably within about a few months, especially if you're using this with heavy use. Overall, not very protective on any of them. So if you wanna know my opinion, skip the cases from Samsung. Go get a third party case and save yourself some money. And then you can skip all of them and just go to a third party case. So if that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Glow signing off. Bye, bye, bye.